Are you excited to share your content with the world? YouTube is one of the best places to do it. It has 2 billion active monthly users, giving you the chance to reach a massive audience. In fact, that's almost one-third of the internet. This is why you want to make sure that you have a stunning logo to represent your brand. As a YouTuber, there are a thousand different paths that you can take as a content creator. Your channel could be dedicated to cooking, ASMR, travel, music, kids, family, the list goes on and on. It's important to have a design that will allow you to differentiate yourself from the competition. Your logo also helps the audience to learn more about your brand and understand what type of content they can expect from you. But finding the right logo could be a challenge. Some may find the design process too expensive or too time consuming. Today, we are going to teach you how to make a YouTube channel logo in a matter of minutes. Going for a DIY design is an effective way for you to save money and time without sacrificing a professional identity for your brand. For this tutorial, we will use the Brand Crowd Logo Maker, the world's number one logo maker. Brand Crowd offers an easy to use logo maker tool, rich in editing features, giving you a straightforward design experience. Before we get started, don't forget to click subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. The first step is to open the Brand Crowd website and type in your business name. Head over to www.brandcrowd.com. That's B R A N D C R O W D.com. The website will generate design suggestions that will best fit your brand. You can also manually browse the logo library yourself. The collection is nicely categorized according to industry and keyword. There's options for education, tech, food, podcasts, and many, many more. So, if you're a travel content creator, you can look for the travel industry to start browsing. You can type in your business name and get a preview of what it looks like on the logos. It also lets you type in keywords to help narrow down your search. Neat, right? Once you've found the best design for your brand, you can start customizing it. Changing the font is a great way to kickstart this process. You can search Brand Crowd's font library for a font that catches your eye and, at the same time, lets you express yourself through typography. Serif or tailed fonts are ideal for traditional and sophisticated brands, while sans serif fonts go well with modern and contemporary companies. You can even opt for a script to create a feminine look or a bold font for a masculine design. It's also a good idea to experiment with font sizes to help balance out your design and help with visual hierarchy. The next design element we're going to talk about is color. Make sure that your color palette is original. You don't want to confuse your audience with similar colors to competitors. You can use color combinations for a visually striking design. Color harmonies like complementary colors such as orange and blue or triadic colors such as red, yellow and blue will help you make a captivating design. But you can also use the color wheel to come up with more palettes to work with. Designers recommend using only two to three colors in your logo. This limit will help you create a cohesive design. Your palette can be used for the icon, text, background, and other parts of your logo. The layout is another important factor when it comes to designing a logo. You have different options when it comes to arranging the design elements. Your icon can be placed above or below your brand name. It may also be put on the left or right region of your design. It's up to you to decide which one looks right for you. Looks even better now, doesn't it? Now, this is optional, but your design can benefit from shapes. They're versatile elements that can make your design pop. You can use a shape to frame your design. This improves its prominence and makes it easier to apply on brand collateral. It also lets you use shape psychology to associate your brand with human traits. Now, your logo is complete. But we're giving you a solid tip to help you make the best design possible. After you've created the draft of your design, you can show it to friends, family, or even share it online for design critique. You can ask questions about their first impressions, room for improvement, and get real-world feedback. Then, you can use the answers to improve your design and revise it before your big launch. Congratulations on your new logo! You're all set to wow your audience and make your channel look even better than before. Don't forget to subscribe and comment down below what tutorials you want to see next.